Hey there, Trevor here from Double Worm Reviews. Okay, so I've just watched Jaws 3 for the first time. Um, and I watched it on 4K from this set. This is a three film set. It has Jaws 2, Jaws 3 and Jaws the Revenge. Um, so obviously I've already got Jaws in the standalone 4K release. So uh, I didn't need any kind of box set or any fancy steel books or anything. I was just happy to have all three films uh, in this lovely slip box. What do I think of seeing Jaws 3 for the first time? Uh, I thought it was a brilliant film. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I love it when people sort of say, oh yeah, it's it's not a very good film and uh, this, that and the other. It's one of the worst um, Jaws films and the picture looks terrible because the special effects look terrible. And But then they didn't necessarily watch it on a projector like I just did. Um, now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with TVs. Films are meant to be seen on a big screen. Films are meant to be seen on a projector. Um, to me, watching them on TVs will show up the special effects to be as bad as they were because they weren't amazing. This is 1983 we're talking about um, and their practical effects, their optical effects. Um, I saw all kinds of different uh, special effects techniques uh, to create this film. Um, even some animatronic type uh, or stop motion animation um, when the, the, the Great White has got its head in, in the underwater control um, station right near the end. Of course, this film was made for 3D. So ideally, uh, I would love to watch it in 3D. Um, so I'm going to have to hunt myself down a 3D version of the film uh, and finally get some 3D glasses to watch it properly. Now, looking at the film stock, from what I can gather from what I was seeing here, it's got a very sort of um, metallic look to it. Uh, that's the only way I can describe it. The colour palette I thought was lovely. I think, from my understanding, the way this 3D film was shot was not two films and two cameras side by side, but one film split in half um, and the left and right image on basically the, the one film strip. How they went about restoring that to, to, to create this 4K, I don't know. Um, now I have seen all the shots and uh, the, the, the pictures that various channels have put up about the people in the background and they got really scary faces because of the, the AI that's been used to um, help with the restoration. Now, um, I've also seen a video comparison uh, on the My Marinization channel where it has um, the whatever year the Blu-ray was and this current 4K. And those same shots, um, because he did pick up a couple of those background shots um, and he did zoom in on them. And the people's faces looked almost as scary before the AI got involved. So the AI hasn't ruined it. It just hasn't picked up exactly what was there. Um, it's, it's a high contrast film. The blacks aren't crushed as such. There's still a lot of detail, but um, there is a lot of contrast in the image. And to me, that's, that's intentional. Another reason that to me, I think that's intentional is to hide some of your special effects you're going to darken down the image to hide some of what you've done. And I can see some of the shots. Yes, a few bits of the shark. When the glass breaks, um, you know, that's a, a very blatant 3D. Let's wow people with the 3D, the glass coming out the screen. Um, it does look terrible in, in, in uh, 4K in 2D because it's not meant to be seen in 2D. Uh, so, but... A lot of the other effects that I'd seen people's pictures of didn't stand out horrendously um, because I'm seeing them blown up on a screen um, and essentially the image degrades because you're stretching it. So um, when that happens, then special effects settle into the image better. Uh, if you condense it down to a small screen like a TV or even your, your phone or your tablet or whatever, you're, they, they're going to look awful. Projector, screen, correct settings, all your 4Ks, all your Blu-rays will look brilliant. 
I love the film. Like I said, it's it's a great movie. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was great to see um, Brody from Jaws one and two, his son grown up, uh, and he's out there in the world and he's working at this this amazing sea life uh, centre. Um, and you know, I, I didn't actually tweak that until they called him Brody, and I realised that he was the son. And also, uh, when he mentions that his dad is. Um, had witnessed a great white shark years before and then of course it's like yeah why not is he so we've seen um uh brody the the father in jaws we've seen brody and his sons in, in jaws 2 and now we're seeing just the son in jaws 3 um and yeah i i just thought the the story was brilliant Yes, a lot of it was cliched, but it's supposed to be. It's 1983. Um, it's, you know, the height of the, the horror films. It's not a slasher or anything, but all the, the horror traits are in there. And all the, oh, don't go in there, don't do that, or listen to what you're being told, don't use explosives, all this and the other. Um, you know, it's it's all, um, it's all in there. Uh, so, you know, we can't complain they've put all of the things in there that we want from these horror films um now if you just don't like the story and you think it was over the top then fine um i thought the use of, of the dolphins the use of the animals uh was great and uh, their interaction with the fake shark um you know swimming into its gills which what they would do in real life dolphins can kill sharks um uh so uh, yeah, it was obvious that that shark was clearly uh, a massive mechanical one. But something I noticed um, seeing it on my screen was the perspective and the size of this shark model that they had. Uh, it looked huge to me. Um, and, you know, it, whereas the first shark they in the film um, is the, the, the baby or ends up, turns out to be the baby, um, you can tell it's small. You think, well, that's that's clearly not the the, the great white shark that uh, this film's all about. And of course, we find out that it's not. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yes, fantastic film. Very very good 4K. Um, I don't care what any other channel says. Um, on my screen, this looked as good as a lot of the other 4Ks um, that I have. And, you know, uh, taking into account the film stock used, the age of the film, um, what they had to do to um, make the film in 3D. Looking at the special effects, it's kind of, I kind of like that they stand out um, in, in 2D because it's like, OK, well, that's what they had to do to achieve that. I mean, the first 3D special effect you get is the word universal. Now there's a black outline around every single letter. That's to make it pop from the, the globe behind it. Then, then of course, the, you know, the fish head just float in there. To me, the grainy image that I was looking at, the, the special effect sat nicely in the image, um, but I can imagine it really popping if I had uh, the 3D version and was watching it in 3D. So, you know, every special effect, every sort of thing they did uh, to put something in the screen, in focus you know that should look quite 3d uh, <laughs> um, you know I could see how well it sat within the picture uh, apart from one scene here of the under the undersea aquatic center and you could see the, the, the coral uh, it, you know it does look terrible anyway before I ramble on too long Give this video a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's the end of the video. Take it easy.